welcome to today's session in today's session we are going to see one more example on form validation already we have seen an example for form validation i will put the link of that video below now we will see one more example uh, let's do the example now now i have opened a new project Let me delete the HTML page and create the XHTML page. Let me call the page as index. So now here I'm going to create a form to enter the details of uh, a form to enter the details of a mobile phone. Okay. Okay, the name of the mobile phone which company it belongs to okay later i will create a bean and link it to the bean now i want to validate this field so inside the text box i will add the validation tag validate required so it means you have to enter a value to this field. You cannot leave it empty. After adding the validation, then close the input text. Okay. So let me create uh, the second field. The second field is the mobile number. Sorry, the model number. Okay. Now here I'm going to create um, I'm going to check the length of the model number. So F colon validate length. Okay. The minimum length will be 6. Validate length. Okay. Minimum should be 6. And maximum will be 10. Okay. So this will be the validation for the mobile number column. Okay, I'm going to add one more. This will be the color of the mobile. Okay, the color field. Here the validation I'm going to add is F colon validate required. Okay, the last column will be the price of the mobile. Okay, the last column will be the price. Here the validation that I'm going to add is price. So I'm going to check the range of the price. So F colon validate, validate double range. So here I have to specify what will be the minimum price and what will be the maximum price. So minimum price is 100 and the maximum price is 350. Okay, so we just uh, created the form. Now, uh, I will put the entire thing inside a form. So, I will write h colon form. Okay. Then, I will create a grid panel to arrange these things in the column. So, entire thing, I will put it inside the form. Now, I will add a h panel grid. Number of columns is two. I'll create a border. Okay, then I have to close my H panel grid. Now, after closing the panel grid, I will create a button command button value of the command button will be submit and action I will write a bean to specify the action field okay so we finished creating the form now let's create a bean 
Now right click new. I'll create a CDI bean. The bean name will be mobile. Okay, so let me write a M as capital and package any any name you can give for package and the scope will be session scope okay and click on finish so here you can see the bean is created now we are going to declare the attributes inside the bean so let me declare the attributes here the attributes are private string company name private string model number private string color private double price okay we declared now we have to add getter and setter method for this so right click insert code getter and setter the get and set method is added. Now we have to add one more method to go to the next page. So I will write the method public string do login. Okay. So when I invoke this method, I'll go to the next page. So let me return the name of the page as success. Okay. So now let me link this bean with the page. So here company name. The input text okay so here i will type the company name so i have to link it using expression language the name of the bean is mobile dot this is attribute name okay similarly here model the name of the bean is mobile mobile dot model number and for color again use the expression language mobile dot color so just I'm creating a mapping. So here mobile dot price. Okay. Now when I click the button, I want to call the method to move to the next page. So I will write mobile dot do login this method to move to the next page. So we created the link. Now I'm going to create another page. Right click new JSF page. The name of the page will be success. Now what I want to display in this page is I want to display a table in the table I want to display the details of uh, whatever I enter in the form I want to display it in the form of a table so in the second page okay you can right click insert code here you can insert code for JSF data table just click it you can see the code is automatically inserted for the data table now your table now whatever value you enter in the form when you click the button you want to read the values from the text box and save it inside a array so uh, let me write the logic in the bean so in the bean what i'm going to do is i'm going to create an array list okay so when i enter the values in company name model number color and price when i enter the values here i uh, when I create, uh, when I enter the values in the form, those values are retrieved and then it is stored in an object. And that object I will store it in the array list. Now my array list has list of values that I entered. Now in the second page, I want to display this array list as a table in my second page. Okay. So let me declare an array list here. So I will create an array list array list the type of array list is the name of the java class and here you have to give a name for the array equal to new array list and the type of the array list is mobile okay just create a array list now click and add the import we created the array list now when i click the button submit i have to create a mobile object with all the values that is entered and store that object inside the array list okay so now i have to write a constructor to create the uh, object mobile see already you have a constructor but we have an empty constructor now how to create a constructor with the values 
So here, what are the values are given? Company name, model number, color and price. So with that values, you have to create the array list. Okay. String model number. Then string color then double price okay so here you have to write yeah, this is white so here you have to write this dot company name equal to company name this dot model number equal to model number this dot color equal to color this dot price equal to price okay so we created the constructor now when i click the button what you have to do is you have to create an object and add that object to the array list so how to add to the array list this is the name of the array list dot call the method add and here you have to create a object okay so create an object with the value company name comma model number comma color comma price okay So we forgot to write private for this array list because whatever you declare in the beam should be private. Okay, so since you have private array list, you have to write get and set for the array list. So insert code, getter and setter for the array list. Okay, so array list also should be private. Okay, now uh, here coming back to this method. Yeah, here you have to call the constructor. The name of the constructor is new mobile. Okay. So here you can just write company name, model number, color, and price here because automatically we have linked. You can see the text box here is linked with the uh, bean attribute. Similarly, for model number, you can see the input text box is mapped to the bean attribute. So whatever you type in the text box is actually me, uh, is actually mapped to the bean attribute. So just directly you can write company name, model number, color and price, insert the values and create a new object for the mobile. So whenever you uh, submit the button, object will be created and that object will be added into the array list. Now in the second page, we want to display this array list in the second page. See in the second page, inside the table here i want to display the array list so the name of the array list is mobile dot you can see your array list here arr okay so this is what you want to display in the data table now uh, inside the data table you have to define uh, the header for the data table and you have to specify what should be the column name and then what should be the value of the column okay so let me write h column column Okay, what should be the column name? The column name is uh, type header. Okay, so you want what is the header you want? So you have to specify the header by using f facet facet uh, facet tag name is header. Okay, and what should be the header of uh, the header should be company name. Okay. Yeah, this should be the header and what should be the value value you have to map it to the uh, array list so mobile dot map it to company 
okay this you have to repeat for all the columns so we created the first column now we'll create the second column the second column is model number the third column will be color the fourth column will be price okay so we have done now at the end of the table i want to add a link so i will add command link and the action i will specify the previous page index.xhtml to go back to the previous page so we we'll finish now let's execute this code so we got the output now company name i cannot leave it empty so if I leave it empty, you can see I get the validation error, value is required. And model number, you can see uh, minimum, you should have uh, six uh, characters in length. And color also, you cannot leave it empty. And the price should be in the range 100 to 350. So let me enter a model name. So let me give Samsung and uh, model number as N314. And the color, let me give some value for the color okay price i will give 120 now when i click submit um okay the length is okay yes the model number the allowable minimum six length okay so let me get some values here now when i click enter you can see uh the data are displayed in the form of a table. Now you can see there is no uh, border for our table. So let's add border for the table. We will go to the second page. Here we will specify border, border as one. Okay, and in the form, you have to add one more field in the form to avoid the warning. You have to add encrypt multipart slash hyphen data. Okay, so now let's execute the code again. So when you click on submit, you can see whatever data that you entered is displayed in the form of a table. Okay, I think there is some more warning here. Yeah. This common link should be within the form. So you can see the uh, tape. Okay, hope you uh, enjoy the session. Thank you for listening.